Hi, today I'm going to show you how to draw a balloon dog just like the balloon dogs that Jeff Coons made. Okay, here's an example of one of the balloon dogs. And all you'll need for this project is a marker and some water and a paintbrush. You don't even need paint. Let's get started. You can draw with a pencil or a Sharpie or any kind of a pen or a black colored pencil or a black crayon, whatever you would like. Whatever you want to draw with is fine. And I'm going to start right about here with a sort of an oval shape that looks like this, sort of an oblong oval shape. And then right over here, I'll do a little triangle and then right on the end of the triangle, I'm gonna make a little oval. And then I'll make a couple of little marks there so it looks like the balloon is tied right there. Okay, next we will make some ears for our balloon dog. That's the nose. So we'll go up this way and we're going to draw a shape that looks like that. And then just down a little bit lower, we'll go like this and copy that same shape right next to it, just like that. And then we'll do another oval, but this one's going to be a little smaller. That will be the neck. And let's make one of the balloon legs. So the leg will go sort of at an angle this way for the front leg. And then the leg that's on the other side, that's kind of behind this one, you go up a little bit from the bottom and you kind of copy that same shape just like that. So we've got the two front legs. Next, we will work on the body. The body is going to look like this. And then we'll do the two back legs. So one of them is going, they're going to kind of angle in the other direction towards the back this way. So there's one, and then we'll do the other one a little bit shorter because it's behind this one. So it's a little farther away, so it looks smaller. Great, and now we'll do a cute little tail. And on the end of the balloon, there's usually a long skinny part that just goes like that. There you go, you did it, a balloon dog. Now, if you wanna do it, uh, do your balloon dog in a cityscape, like the examples that I had, you can draw any kind of a city you want behind it, or you could do something totally different and unique. Maybe you're going to make your balloon dog playing soccer, or maybe your balloon dog is at the fair, riding on a ride, or doing any kind of thing. Maybe your balloon dog is swimming underwater. You can draw whatever kind of thing you want on your background. I'm gonna show you how to do your balloon dog in a city, but you could make up your own kind of a city. You don't have to follow these directions. So if you want to, you can follow along. I'm going to start by making a straight line that goes up part way towards the top. And then I'm going to do sort of angled lines that go out almost straight, but a little bit diagonal this way. And then straight down and straight down. Now here I'm running into the dog's nose. So I pick up my pen and I kind of do an invisible line that goes through the dog behind the dog and then down to the bottom right there. And if you'd like to put on a window on this building, the top of the window needs to match this same angle. So it has to be at a slanted angle like this. And the bottom of the window also needs to be slanted. Now the two sides of the window are going to go straight up and down like the two sides of the building. So that just goes this way, just like that. Okay, I'll make some more buildings over here at this side. I'll make another one. And this one will go straight up if it touches the dog's tail, I'll pick up my pen and go and finish above that. And I'm going to make this one pretty tall. And then I'm not going to go straight out and I'm not going to go way down here like this with my diagonal line. I'm gonna make a diagonal line that almost goes straight out, but it goes slightly down. Same thing with this one. And I'll make another building right over here, up behind the dog and up a little bit more. Same thing with those slanted lines. One goes this way, one goes this way. Okay, so for my little building, I'm gonna do that one first. This goes straight down, 
and this goes behind the leg, so I don't have to draw anymore down there. This one goes down behind the body. I don't have to draw anymore there. If you want a window on that, remember the window top has to be angled just like the top of the building. But the sides go up and down like the sides do, up and down. And then to finish off this one, this line goes straight down. And this one goes straight down. And then you can add any kind of buildings you want. You can add any kind of thing in the sky that you might want. Maybe you have an airplane in your sky or a hot air balloon or whatever you might want in your sky. I'm going to make a night sky. So I'm putting in a nice moon in my picture. And then we will color it. Now for the coloring, you have to have washable markers for this. Regular markers will not work. It has to say washable on the markers or you're going to have bad luck with these. All right, so to make your balloon dog, remember, check that it says washable. Now on the balloon dog, you're going to have a little bit of a reflection on the top from the light source. So our light source is the moon. So at the top of all of our balloons, we're going to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a light highlight, kind of like the highlight that you see here. It's going to be like a little lighter spot. So what we're going to do is color on the bottom side of the oval, and then we're going to color along the top side, but we're going to leave a space. Leave a little space right there. See that how I left a white stripe at the top? Okay, so leave that white stripe at the top. On this little triangle bit, you only have to color in the bottom half. Now our, our highlighted parts are going to be at the top of these two and along the front edge. So I'm just going to do the back edge colored in. And then the front edge, I'll have it colored in only this far. So I have this white side over here. And on this one that's behind, I'm just going to color on the one side, just like that maybe a little bit more at the bottom. Okay, so on this one, the highlight's going to be again at the top. So I'll do the bottom part solid, and then I'll leave a little white stripe along the top. Same thing here, the back side will be colored, and then I'm going to leave the front side with that white stripe on it. And then this back leg, I'm just coloring in the back half of that one. I'm leaving the white stripe on the front. On the body part, do your color along the bottom and leave a white stripe across the top. Color along the back of this one, and leave a white stripe across the top. And I'm just gonna color the half of that one. And let's do the bottom of this leg, and then we'll do the back side of the leg with the color, and then the front side of the leg will have the white. And on this one, since it's behind, I'm just going to color this side. Okay, looks a little bit weird right now, but wait till you see what happens when we add the water. So I've got a little bit of water and a paintbrush, and you just Paint in the spot where you have your marker, and you can see that marker kind of dissolves a little bit and turns into almost like a paint. And then you can leave this top edge just white, so you've got that sort of highlight on the top edge of your balloon. You can paint just like right above that line a little tiny bit and leave a little bit of white right there. You can do it like that too, just to leave a little tiny stripe of white. That looks good. And you'll probably have to dip your paintbrush in the water a few times to make this happen. And there you go. Then you can color the background any way you want. As you can see on this one, I colored the background in and I left the buildings white. On this one, I thought it would be fun to leave a lot of white space, but you can do yours any way you want. I hope you enjoy making your Jeff Koons style balloon dog.